Welcome to Watch Symposium. I'm Austin. All right, so when I uploaded the mid-tier watch videos where I talk about, you know, distinguishing respectable mid-tier from bullshit mid-tier, where I mentioned Squale, I anticipated Squale owners would eventually find that video and comment. And I was right. They've started. Uh, I anticipated two types of comments. Um, or two types of commenters. The sort of logical, polite, knowledgeable commenter who maybe is connected to Squally in some way. Maybe they, they work for the company. Maybe they're coming by trying to do damage control. Um, I think I've got a good example of that type of comment and uh, we'll look at that in, an, in another video. I don't know if that person is connected with Squally, but he is polite and he is knowledgeable. So we'll, we'll talk about that in, a, in another video. Um, but I also anticipated Squally owners coming by and being pissed. And I have a, an example of, of that type of commenter and his comment. All right, this is from Chavo. All right, Chavo, 1988. And he writes, does this mullet joker work for Archie? All right, so he, he's got the mullet joke in there. Um, I've been making videos for ages, and, and this is like the first dig at my mullet. I mean, finally, right about time. Um, Chavo, you really should have thrown in the mustache as well. They kind of go together. Um, that's sort of a missed opportunity for a for a good ad hominem. Um, you could have called it a dick duster or something. But uh, he writes, does this mullet joker work for Archie? All right. Um, I don't think Archie's ever seen any, any, any of my videos. Um, but uh, yeah, I certainly don't work for Archie. Uh, no connection. Um, if he wants to put me on the payroll, I'm open for negotiations. But... Uh, Nope, um, just uh, working alone here. I, I think he knows that. All right, this guy has no idea what he's talking about. I currently have a Squally 1545 in for service. The bezel is a bit too tight for my taste. No questions asked. All they did was ask me to include a proof of purchase. That's it. And I know of other people who've had their Squally service too. This man is lying to you all. All right, he goes on, he, he commented to his original comment, and, and this second comment said, Squally was extremely polite and helpful when I had questions. This man is lying through his teeth. So um, he's pissed, and he's not buying my, my story, okay? Um, let's just go through the comment thread, and, and then we'll, we'll, we'll talk about everything, Okay. I wrote him back and I said, where is your watch in service? And what am I lying about? Do you think I just made those emails up? He wrote back and he said, I contacted Squale USA and they were very polite and helpful with my questions. They have a service center here in the US, which I liked because I did not want to send my watch to Europe. I don't know who you talked to, but my experience was the complete opposite of what you're telling all the people that watch this video. They didn't ask me what my watch was or what the problem is. They gave me an answer to every question I had. All they asked me to do was to print out a service request form and include a copy of my proof of purchase. It was a very easy process. Either you talk to someone who had no idea what they were doing on the job, or you're lying. You make videos, right? Why don't you show us the emails? Easy request. Okay, easy request indeed, and I am making that video right now. We'll get to the emails, okay? Um, okay, so before I emailed Squale in Italy, I emailed Squale USA, okay? That... Okay, right there, that's the the uh, the email, okay? And if it was too fast, um, you know, up the resolution, make it full screen and pause it, and you can read it. Um, they never wrote me back, okay? They never wrote me back at all. And I don't know why. So maybe they realized I wasn't a customer. Maybe they thought I would send them a squally that they didn't sell. And maybe that's why they didn't get back to me. But um, Chavo, I'm pretty sure that Squally USA is just a distributor, okay? And it's good that your distributor is standing behind their products, the ones that they're selling. But 
you know, that's, uh, I mean, that's not Squally. That's, that's a distributor, okay? I'm assuming, all right? So, you know, are they kind of like a middleman, like Kmart? You know, if you buy something from Kmart and, and something's wrong with it, then you take it back to Kmart and, you know, I guess Kmart will send it back to Squally. But, um, you know, he never really answers my question, who did you send it back to? The distributor, okay? So, so, you know, that's something to keep in mind, okay? So, the watches are made, they go to the distributor, and the distributor is backing them. And you have to include your proof of purchase, okay? Basically, like a receipt. Basically, what it sounds to me like is that you are returning a defective product, okay? And the distributor is standing behind that product and is going to repair it. Now, I, I, what would be interesting to note is if you get the same watch back or if they just replace the watch. Okay, If they replace the watch, it didn't go to a service center. They just send you a new watch and they're going to send that one back to Squale. Okay? Um, if they did fix it, then maybe they have a service center. But, you know, is it connected to Squale itself? You know, I, I don't... I don't know, and and uh, you know it it you know it's just something I can't answer. Okay, but but think about this. Okay, it's a, a proof of purchase. Okay, I mean so so like I said, as a distributor, it's like they want the receipt. Okay, well what if what if you have a squale that was gifted to you? Okay, so is squale USA going to tell you to fuck off? Well, they didn't answer my email, all right? So, so I don't know. Something to keep in mind. Okay, um, what was I lying about about the emails? Um, why the fuck would I do that? It, why the, do, do I look like I have enough time to, to compose emails? I mean, obviously I have enough time to, to email Squally, but let me, let me kind of explain why I did that. I, I made another video that I never uploaded, and I... I I made the claim in the video that you can't send your watches back to Squally for servicing. And I was watching my video later and I thought, I don't know if that's quite true. Before I make that claim, I've got to, you know, do some research. And so I did and hence I, I sent the emails out, okay? But, uh, alright, here they are, Chavo. Um, have fun, okay? All right, so that was those were the emails, and, and again, if, if uh, they were too fast for you to read, pause the vi video, uh, make them full screen, make them full resolution, and uh, that's them, okay? So, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. Um, I'm going to talk about other aspects of Squally that have kind of come up as, you know, the comments have rolled in, but uh, there you go, Charo, uh, Chavo, hopefully that, uh, that does it for you. Um, you know, it, like I said, it's good that your distributor is standing behind what they're selling, okay? It's a good middleman, basically, is what that means. Um, does it really reflect on Squally itself? Well, I mean, you know, you just have to ask the question, how how connected to Squally in Italy is Squally USA? Is it just a distributor? And, uh, you know, hopefully uh, I raised some, some questions that, that you want to think about. You know, could you, if you didn't have that proof of purchase, still send it back for them to service, okay? Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time.